Cinema Gold Show. I'm your host, Larry Lace. Today we're taking a look back at The Punisher and talking, is he a hero or a villain? At the end of the day, we let you decide. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Pondex, for sponsoring this episode. What is Pondex, you ask? That is a great question. Pondex are the hottest new tool for podcasters looking to have more meaningful conversations or to gamify their podcast. Simply shuffle up, ask a question, let the content roll. Get yours today at pondex.com and use the code Larry21 for 10% off your order. And now let's dive into today's topic. Frank Castle is best known to comic book fans around the world as the one and only The Punisher. He's a fan favorite character dating back many decades, who first appeared as an adversary to Spider-Man, but has also had memorable run-ins with characters such as Daredevil, Captain America, Ghost Rider, Nightcrawler, and Wolverine to name a few. Actors Dolph Lundgren, Thomas Jane, Ray Stevenson, and John Bernthal have all portrayed the character in live-action depictions. The Punisher is a former Marine, Black Ops, and Cerberus squad member whose job was to capture, interrogate, and execute high-value targets. Upon his return home, he witnesses the killing of his own family. In response, he eventually takes it upon himself to avenge their deaths by killing the people responsible, and vows to track down criminals by getting rid of them by any means necessary. One thing is known, Frank Castle does not back down from a fight, directly killing at least 65 known characters, and countless unknown ones in the Marvel Universe at this point, as evidenced by both the Punisher film series and Netflix's The Punisher. The Punisher works in a gray area most characters never truly explore. Is he a hero because he is typically typically taking out Danish criminals? Or is he a villain because he is essentially a mass murderer? The answer may depend on whom you ask and what version of The Punisher we are seeing in action at that moment. He's fought heroes and wrongdoers just the same sometimes teaming with them and other times killing them. There isn't one perfect answer or one clear label you can give the Punisher, and maybe that's okay as a fictional character. However, what do the Punisher fans who read these comics or watch these films or shows when he's doing gruesome and sometimes barbaric things to others? How do they perceive the Punisher and antagonist or protagonist with rumors that a new Punisher series is coming to Hulu? Let's take a closer look at the character of Frank Castle for a clearer perspective on whether the Punisher is in fact a hero or a villain. Is Frank Castle a serial killer? A serial killer is defined as a person who commits a series of murders, often with no apparent motive and typically following a characteristic, predictable behavior pattern. The FBI asks that serial killers commit at least three murders over more than a month often with a cooling off period afterward. Male serial killers in particular are often driven by a power fantasy or desire to generate fear in others. This matches up with Frank Castle. He even advertises who he is by having a large white skull across his chest. Therefore, most signs point to, yes, the Punisher is likely a serial killer. The no apparent motive part is the only questionable area of discussion because there is certainly a motive behind these killings as they are criminals he's attacking. However, that also gives the Punisher a predictable behavior pattern by targeting a specific characteristic in people. Is the Punisher a bad person? Yes and no. To be fair, good people still do bad things sometimes and vice versa. Humans are often more complex than most fictional characters who are typically more defined in one direction or the other. In life, it's possible to be a good person who sometimes makes bad decisions. It's also possible to be a bad person who justifies their actions due to bad things that have happened to them in the past. It's all about perspective. It's certain Frank Castle has stopped many additional horrific crimes from occurring had he not intervened. Punisher is not a judge or jury, though, even when he acts like one. By killing others, especially in the fashion he often does, he too becomes a criminal. No matter how many felons he punishes, it still doesn't bring his family back either. Over the course of his time in the comics, he's also slowly changed into a more likable character as his popularity has grown. Ultimately, the Punisher is a mix of both good and bad, and what most people nowadays would call an anti-hero. 
The question is, why is the Punisher called an anti-hero? The Pun Punisher is an anti-hero because he never set out to be a hero. He does things no hero would do, yet often does heroic acts in the process of stopping bad guys. He makes clear mistakes in the process, though sometimes killing people who didn't deserve their fate. Nowadays, many films create characters much like the Punisher. This can enrich a persona and have deeper backstories and sometimes make the viewer question their own morals. Anti-heroes can toe the line between good and bad at the same time. This often makes them cooler to like and they appeal to audiences in different ways. Look at other popular characters such as Loki, Venom, Deadpool, Catwoman, Harley Quinn. You'll notice similar anti-hero traits in all of them. Is the Punisher actually justified in his actions? While still flawed, the Punisher has his own sense of morality and a particular code that he follows. Fans of the television show Dexter may be able to relate to this scenario. Much like Dexter, Frank Castle is a killer who's taken justice in his own hands and enjoys killing others. However, to fulfill this urge, he seeks out those who are a detriment to society. Sometimes it's tough to know where the justification of putting these criminals to death and the addiction of being a killer begins and ends. Once again, there is a complicated answer here, and the Punisher's actions can be interpreted in different ways. What's known for sure, though, is the popularity of the Punisher is still going strong, with a rumored new show ahead and tens of millions of fans worldwide. So let us know in the comments section below, is the Punisher a hero or a villain? What do you think? And as always, if you want to support the show, you can buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cinemagold. Your support helps the channel grow, hire new hosts, bring in new guests, um, upgrade our equipment, and hopefully take this show on the road someday. Your support can help make that happen, no matter the amount. And as always, hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for watching and listening. We will see you next time.